I'm Christian Lamichka and today I present you Sunset Slim. Sunset country music has many new fans in Europe who may be hearing about you for the first time. So how would you describe the music you are playing to someone who's never seen or heard you before? Well, I think uh, the best way to, to describe it is it's rooted in traditional country. I like old school, traditional country music, but I like to make it a little bit different. I twist it around a little bit, put a new twist on it. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, time marches on. I can listen to the oldest country records going way back to Jimmy Rogers and the simplicity of that and love that to death. But art is art and you have to build on that okay. and still keep the values that that music is in my mind. That's what's the good thing that you love about country music, okay. and I don't want to lose that. But at the same time, I want to make something fresh and interesting for a listener. Okay. So, who do you look up musically, and how deep do your musical roots run? Uh, gee, country artist I grew up I, it, while I was in the cradle with Hank Williams, and I was standing at the stage like this with his boots right here with Hank Snow and Hank Thompson and all the old greats of country music. Mm -hmm. I grew up with it. My father was a, a country singer and guitar player and I was doing it since I'm a baby. And the old ones that were tremendous, I love Hank Snow because Hank Snow did what I'm talking about to country music first. He brought in a rockin' beat. Okay. And a big eight-wheeler moving down the track. It means your true loving daddy never coming back. And I'm a moving on. And boy, that's when country music got a beat. Mm -hmm. And he rocked it up. And yet it was all built on Jimmy Rogers and the traditional stuff. And that's he's somebody that I really, really look up to as a, a tremendous artist that did something with a musical form that gave it a new experience for okay. the listener. So, what inspired you to become an artist? Well, I really had no choice. Uh, I was bottle fed it. <laughs> <laughs> Out of a real bottle. And, uh, you know, no, when I was just a little, little guy, my father, he played rhythm guitar and sang. Well, he needed a, a lead guitar player. He called it Takeoff Man. Oh, okay. He needed a Takeoff Man. So I had. I was right away, I was going to be the takeoff man. So by the time I'm this big, I'm out in the joints with my father so, doing it. So you were at first by the background band. He yeah. built by his own. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what's unique about you that differentiates you from other artists? Well, I have a, a really wide uh, musical range in as much as I've written songs for such diverse things as... I wrote the last song recorded by Roy Rogers, which was a yep. tremendous honor. Uh, he, he sang a song of mine. I got a Grammy nomination for it, uh, Hold On Partner with Clint Black. Yep. That's over to this side. I've also written for many movies and things, and actually have had songs recorded by a wild punk rock <laughs> group called uh, Wendy O. Williams and the Plasmatics. Uh, you can't spread it further okay. <laughs> from Roy Rogers to the plasmatics well I I think that kind of uh, really gives me a, a, a pretty wide perspective in you know my music that is an appealing thing to a wide group of people in other words okay so is there anything in your life that you would change if you could Oh, jeez. Let's see. How about my birthday? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I'll tell you, regret is a terrible thing to have to live with. And that's the one thing I, I say to young people. I say, you know, you really have to be careful what you do each and every day. Little things that you don't think are a big thing. You got to kind of be careful because as you do get older, the thing that, that hangs around you are the things that you did you wish you hadn't and the regrets you know and other than not learning that lesson sooner yep everything's been beautiful for me man <laughs> i've had a charmed life and, and i thank the lord 
he looks after me and takes good care of Sunset Slim. And I appreciate being here today with you and speaking to your readers and listeners. Uh, I'm really having a ball. So, what can you fans expect to see when they see you in concert? Well, I'll tell you what. I like to have a good time. And if you come and see a Sunset Sh Slim show, it's a good time. I try and do everything I possibly can to make somebody get out of there feeling like they had a ball and it was worth going and want to come back again. Okay. So, many music fans today get their information about artists via the internet. Do you have your own website and what will fans find there? Well, I do have a website. Uh, it's sunsetslim.com. Go in there and there's a guest book and send me a message. I get back to the people that send. I get them from all over the world. It's really good. And right now, it's it's. I have a new web designer that are trying to update the website because I happen to see something, uh, a corporate account. The, some somehow somebody turned me and said, "Look at this person's website. This company's website. It's so fantastic that you." did very little reading. It was a voice guiding you and a, and a character, a cartoon character that said, if you like this, go over here and let's go in this door. And, <laughs> and you know, it was so a fresh, modern approach that I, I'm having someone work on that right now, trying to get my site up to that. Okay. You know, it's the new thing, you know, where you don't have to sit there and read. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Got there's you. too much reading on the computer. I like it when they tell you what to do. Oh yeah, that's most simple. And it way. does it. <laughs> well, <laughs> right. yeah. We're still waiting all for this feature. Well, what's your pl what are your plans for the future? Uh, right now, I've just signed with a brand new management company out of Los Angeles, and I'm so excited about that. They have big plans for Sunset Slim, and I'm looking to go to Europe soon. They're looking at that because I've had a phenomenal success on the internet, uh, by the way, which you're speaking of. There's a, a radio program that is broadcast out of Spain okay. by five English kids called Fame Games. Thousands and thousands of people send in music each week mm -hmm. and they put it up on this site and fans vote on it okay. and it makes it through different levels until it makes the final five of the okay. main show. They've now put it on ABC radio here in America. Okay. It's taking off. It's like uh, American Idol, mm -hmm. but for artists with original material and bands and okay. all kinds of genres from hip hop to country. Well, I just won Country Artist of the Year on there. I've had tremendous success. Everything I, I sent in went straight to the top. It was such a shock because it's not the normal music that this audience is listening yep. to. And yet, for some reason, the young people have taken to Sunset Slim and the Sunset Slim sound and it's taken off so the management company is looking to get me to Europe as quick as possible and I'm looking forward to that too. Well I would like to see you in Europe. Sunset, let me say thanks for the great interview and I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much Christian, it's been a pleasure my friend.